All right, we have talked about a complete sentence and how a sentence has to have a period if it's a statement or command, a question if it's asking you something, or an exclamation mark if you're saying it with the statement. We've also learned a sentence has to have a subject. Who is the sentence about? Or what is the sentence about? And it has to have a predicate. Who or what the sentence is doing? Now today, we're gonna learn that sometimes we can make our sentences bigger. We can expand them. So right now, think of a balloon. When you blow air in your balloon, Eli, what happens to the balloon? blows up or if you blow it too much it might pop it might pop you're expanding it and Eli's right if you put too much air into it it will expand too big and it'll pop now like when, you let it go, when we expand a sentence we're making it bigger and we're adding more detail when you guys were in kindergarten I'm pretty sure one of the very first sentences you wrote is my name is blank or I like blank or I like my duck. All those sentences you wrote were very simple and they were easy because they were your kindergarten sentences. Now, since you're second graders, we need to start adding a little bit more detail and we need to make our sentences bigger and more interesting. So look at this sentence. The boy helps. No, eh, it's an okay sentence, but we're gonna expand it and we're going to say the young boy helps. Now we, it makes it a little bit more interesting because it could be like one of these boys in our second grade classroom. You guys are all young. Or look at this sentence. The man rapes. Uh, it's an okay sentence but if we add some detail the man rapes leaves that is definitely more interesting because we know what he's actually raping. Now down below, we are going to add details to the subjects. So we're gonna look at our subjects and we're gonna add some details and then we're gonna write the new sentence on the line. So I'm gonna read the first sentence, then I'll say the subjects and I want you to think, what can we add to that subject to give it more detail? So here's the first one. The boys worked in the garden. All right, second graders, my subject is the boys. What can we add to that to give it more detail? Wyatt. The boys worked in the garden all day. Oh, Wyatt, I love that, but you know what you did? You added the detail to the end of the sentence. And guess what they want us to do? They want us to put the detail at the beginning. But I really, really like that. Can you think of something, Wyatt, we could add to the boys? <gasps> Libby. No, we're talking about the boys. Brooklyn. Girls and boys work in the garden. Well, we're not changing it to girls. We're only talking about the boys. Ellie. The dad? No, no, no. We're talking about the boys. We're going to add more detail to the boys. John. All day the boys worked in the garden. No, we don't want to say all. That's a really good one, too. I like that sentence. Good line on the right thinking, but we want to add more detail to the boys. What do you think, um, Riley? Aria? I mean, Aria. I'm so sorry, but Aria. The boys worked in the garden. No, we're not adding more detail. Lewis. They, no. they raped the garden. No. Addie. The young boys raped in the garden. That would work. The young boys. We put the old boys. <laughs> we could put the second grade boys. Yeah. Me. That's not right there. there. Yeah. Me. Me. So, you pick what you well, want. Mrs. Well, Murphy's going to say the... Should I say young, old, or second grade? Young. Second grade! Second grade! Okay, well, I'll put second grade, but you guys can also put... And you know what, guys? I'm going to not make you write the whole sentence. You need to put 
the, and then whatever you're choosing, whether it's second grade, the young or the old, and then boys, just because we're gonna run out of time. So watch Mrs. Murphy. You either write the second grade boys, the old boys, or the young boys. We will not, we will not finish this sentence, okay? Because we're gonna run out of room. And we're gonna run out of time. I actually don't read this. What are you doing right there? So you have three choices. You could write the second grade boys, the young boys, or the old boys. You pick which one you want. Ingrid, what are you saying? Oh, we have enough room to rewrite all of them. You could, definitely. And Mrs. Murphy's just going to change this so you can see. Make sure to put a period or something. Nope, no period because we're not going to complete the sentence. We're just going to change, add more details to the subject. So don't put a period. So Ingrid said if you have room, you certainly can write your other choices. So what we're doing is we're going to learn that this is adjectives. We're adding some adjectives to the sentence. Miss Murphy bought you E. Yes, on the word grade. Good job, because there's a long A. Grade. Good job. But it's a D-E. But the E jumps over the D, right? What about, I was thinking of E D, but it's flipped around. Right, it is. Okay, now the next one. I will read the sentence, and then you think of what is the subject, or who is the subject. The gardener gave them some seeds. Who can find the subject? Who is this sentence about? Wyatt? The gardener. The gardener. So Mrs. Murphy's going to circle the gardener. Now, we need to add some detail to the gardener. What kind of gardener is he? What can we say? Kinsley? Uh, the gardener will? Uh, the gardener will? Like his name? Is that what you're adding? No, like the gardener will give them. Oh, you're adding, you're adding a verb in there. And I don't want you to add a verb. I want you to add to the gardener. What kind of gardener is he? Louis, do you have an idea? Uh, the gardener gave them seeds. Okay, but you didn't tell me what kind of gardener. I want some detail. What kind of gardener? The man. The man gardener? The man gave them seeds. Okay, you're kind of changing it when you say the man instead of the gardener. So I'm not quite want to do that one yet. Eli. The old gardener gave them some seeds. The old hey. gardener gave them some seeds. That's exactly what Brooklyn was thinking. Good, good thoughts. Brooklyn, do you have another one? The old gardener plants some tomatoes. No, no, we're just going to continue with this. The, what did you say, Brooklyn? The old gardener. We're not changing the predicate. We're only changing our subject. So the I old gardener the gave them some seeds. Libby. The young gardener gave them some seeds. Addie. <laughs> no. Oh. <gasps> it's okay. The gardener. The gardener has nice to give. No, 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 no. Don't change it. You guys are changing the predicate. Don't change the predicate. We're only changing the gardener. Quiet. Okay, you can add a name, but I don't want to add a name. Hey. Kinsley. The flower gardener. Oh, I love that. The flower gardener gave them some seeds. What old gardener? So we have old, we have the flower gardener. And we have the young gardener, Ali. The kid gardener. The kid gardener. On your paper. Yes, it's on the board if you can catch up with them. All right. Or Mrs. Murphy was thinking the strong gardener, the weak gardener. Ali? The nice gardener. The nice gardener. All right. Ingrid? The good gardener. The 
like the gardener. Okay, Mrs. Murphy's gonna pick, I like Kinsley's idea, the flower gardener. Because that tells us what kind of gardener he is. But you definitely could pick a different one. You could say young, old, nice, strong, weak. I don't. Well, I have period. No period. That's not a complete sentence.
predicates of these sentences. Write the new sentence on the line. So no longer are we doing the subject, we're gonna do the predicate. So on number four, it says the boys. Who can tell Mrs. Murphy, sorry, the boys planted. The boys planted. Who can tell me the predicate? John, what do you think? You're right. You are right. Who can tell me the predicate, Eli? Uh, the boys. Well, the boys is the subject. And that's what we did at the top. Now, Mrs. Murphy wants the predicate. What's the predicate? What's the boys do? Planted. planted. Now, we uh -oh. need to think of something we could add to plant it. I got it. So the boys planted. Watermelon. 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 The garden. The garden. They planted. Quickly. A uh, tree. Trees. Um. Pineapple. <laughs> uh. Pineapple? Beets. Beets. Lemon. Lemon. What was it? Joyfully, maybe? Joyfully? That would be a good one. And LES, last one. The gardener 